now it's time for some breaking news. Yeah! Jumping into some breaking news today about what's happening in the entertainment industry before we get into our discussion pieces as we always do here on Cruise Control. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is Tobey Maguire. Now, Tobey Maguire, we all know him from a million movies, but Spider-Man is what I want to talk about right now. So Tobey Maguire said, yes, he will do another Spider-Man movie. He says if he gets the opportunity, why wouldn't he? He loves it. He loves goofing around, putting the suit on, and running some Spider-Man scenes. So if there's a chance to be Spider-Man again, he says yes. Why would he not do that? Well, he says yes. Sylvester Stallone says no. No, 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 no. He did not. He did not. Did not tell Pamela Anderson that she could be his number one girl and he'd pay her with a Porsche. If she would be his number one girl, he said that was a complete fabrication. No, that did not happen. He denies it constantly. I mean, who knows if it's true? That's what Pam Anderson says, Stallone. That's all I'm saying. So he says no. Well, you know what? Paramount says yes to a Bad Boys 4. That's right. Bad Boys 4 is happening, everybody. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence announced it today. That little video where they got together and like, Bad Boys, Bad Boys, what you going to do? Coming back for, they want to call it Bad Boys for Life, for life. But the problem is they did Bad Boys for Life for the third one, and they were joking about that in their video, but it doesn't really work. You can't do it twice, guys. So anyways, they're saying yes to Bad Boys 4. Well, Hulu is saying no to the show The Reboot. So the show The Reboot's been on there for one season. They've done eight episodes. Uh, it debuted September 20th, 22. And it's about, I mean, it's really just writers creating a TV show. And they're like, what are we going to do? Let's reboot this TV show that was popular. Like, seriously, so meta. So anyways, they did one season, and they said, hell no, we're not doing it. Hulu said, we're canceling that shit. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it was a good show. If you liked it, it's unfortunate news for you, but it is going away. And as they say no, the fans say yes, 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 yes. Wakanda Forever is debuting on Disney Plus tonight. If you're on the East Coast at 3 a.m., if you're on the West Coast, at midnight, you can watch Wakanda Forever. Now, if you haven't seen it before, you get a chance to check this great movie out. If you have seen it, maybe you want to watch it again. This is your opportunity to do so because now it will be streaming on Par- well, I want to say Paramount, Disney Plus on Disney Plus tonight. And as the fans say yes, well, Showtime says no to three women. The series they've been working on for years. It was supposed to come out in 22. I think it was like fall of 22. They shot the whole thing with Shailene Woodley. And now it's been ramping up. They had a teaser come out. This show's coming. Eh, not happening. Showtime's like, we're not going to do that. Shailene Woodley, Betty Glippin, and uh, DeWanda Wise were all part of this whole show. And it was an intimate, haunting portrayal of, of American women's desires, I guess. But apparently it's not happening. Now they're going to try to shop it around again. Now this comes down to some more news we're going to get into later in the program about Paramount+. Plus. But we'll get into that a little later and Showtime. But as they say no to this, now, this is a funny one I saw, and I was like, is this serious right now? <laughs> uh, I guess it is very, very serious that Legendary Films is saying yes to Danny and the Dinosaur. Now, this is a cartoon from, like, the 1950s about a boy who meets a dinosaur in a museum, and they become best friends, and they have hijinks, and they go on adventures. I guess it sold, like, more than 11 million copies in 12 different languages. So it's a very popular kids' show or kids' you know, comic comic or kids children's story but it's become a feature film now everybody so if you're a fan of danny the dinosaur and your kids love it or you loved it as a kid well a feature is coming and as we say yes to that dave batista says no to bane that's right he's saying that he's done with bane he's not gonna he's gonna give up on it i should say originally he had a meeting back with warner brothers back in 2021 where he's like i want to be bane i'm perfect for bane make me bane and they're like we're not we're not we're not casting bane dave he's like make me bane well, now James Gunn's taken over. It's a whole new thing. 15, you know, it's like, he's like, they have a whole 15, 10, 15 year plan. He goes, he thinks it'd be too old at that point. So why would he do that? And he just thinks get somebody younger for Bane. But then again, he said he loved play the character. So I think that if, it could come around. You never know. You never know. I mean, he's 54 right now. So he says he's too old for it. But you know, somebody else that's 54 that's in the news that's still rocking and rolling is Will Smith. Some more, I'm going to tell everybody. Will Smith is coming back as the genie. That's right. We're going to get an Aladdin 2. That shit's happening. Aladdin 2 with Will Smith. And Disney's saying yes to Will Smith. We're not going to cancel him after Slapageddon. We're not going to do that. 
We're going to give him another chance. He's coming back. He's going to have even a bigger part in Aladdin 2. So if you guys were fans of the remake of Aladdin, hey, Rachel, how you doing tonight? If you're fans of the remake of Aladdin, well, a second one is coming. And if you liked Will Smith, I still personally love Robin Williams. But if you liked Will Smith, you're going to get more and more and more of the genie getting jiggy with it. So now that I, we got Sabrina back here. Sabrina, welcome to the program. Sorry about the technical stuff. How you doing tonight? Uh, great. How are you? So the computer was playing the pod. That happened to me one time to a different computer was playing the podcast at the same time. It's just, there was a delay. So it was, I didn't want to put my mic on because I thought it would be very strange. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Who's asking for that? Lexi's asking probably about the Aladdin thing, but yeah. I would like to about, know too. <laughs> what do you think about Will Smith though? Sabrina, what do you think about Will Smith and Disney giving him another chance and bringing him back in and uh, being Aladdin again? And were you a fan of his, or being, I should say, a genie. Now, are you a fan of his genie? Uh, I was not. Um, <laughs> I I was a big fan of the actual Aladdin, you know, when I was younger. Uh, the cartoon with, obviously, Robin Williams. Um, the I, I don't know why you're making live-action Lion Kings and live-action Aladdins, like live-action Little Mermaids. Like, leave it the fuck alone. It was a very good cartoon. That's what it's for. That's what you do. Like, what? Just, just stop. And uh, I don't, not that I have anything against Will Smith, but it was abysmal. I can't, it was I, like, it was actually painful for me to watch. And that girl from Saturday Night Live was Jasmine's like friend that wasn't actually in yeah. the cartoon. It was just stupid. The whole thing was stupid. I, I thought it was terrible. I know you liked it. I thought it was terrible. I, I think that fan was a bad, or the fan, the, the friend was a bad choice. Like, why are we making a new character here? It doesn't make sense to me. I just thought that I didn't think he was horrible as a genie. It's a different kind of thing. It's not Robin Williams. Of course, he's doing more of the Fresh Prince thing with it. He's getting jiggy with it, like I said. And uh, I think it, it worked for what it was. Again, I don't know. Again, they've tried to do other Aladdins, the cartoons, Aladdin 2, Turn Jafar. They did the whole, you know, the whole, uh, the third one about the thieves, the Prince of Thieves with his dad. I don't know if they're going to kind of play off that with a new one or not. I don't know what the movie will be like, but hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's better than those remakes. Jake, did you hear about this? And what do you think about Aladdin and Will Smith coming back to be the big blue guy again? I never watched the other one. I'm oh, you never saw on it. this. No, I like the cartoon. I'm not going <laughs> to watch the live action. <laughs> I mean, like... No, yeah. You didn't give it a chance. Like, what? You didn't give it a chance. <laughs> Come on, you know no. why not? See what happens. This no. guy Richie. I could watch it. So he just I'll he give it some great stuff. Don't. It's stupid. Don't watch it. It's stupid. No. Okay. It's terrible. Well, if the thing is about that movie is if you look back, what if we at did like a group watch where we could all watch it together. I don't think no one wants to watch it with me. I'll talk shit about it the whole entire time. (laughs) I I don't don't think she'll watch it again. I won't. Um, I I was so upset the whole time. The whole movie, I was complaining. Honestly, the sad thing is, like, you want to hear if you want to hear Robin sing like "Friend Like Me," and you ask a device in your house, whether it be a Google Home or a A L E X A, we have those all over the place. I don't want to say it out loud. So, if you ask that, you get this version. You don't get the original version ever because of the rights with Robin Williams. Robin Very Williams funny. said they can't use his stuff. They can't make money off him for 20 years past his death. That was in his will. So that's why you can't find those songs anywhere, which are better, I think, still, because Robin Williams is such a character actor. The way he played it, the performances, the multiple voices. And Will Smith tries to do that a little bit. But, mm-hmm. And I think it works. I mean, like, if you can't have Robin Williams, just it works. It's different, but it's the same in a way because he's having fun and goofing around. But... He's no Robin Williams at the end of the day. No. And the fact they're bringing I, him back. I disagree well, with you wholeheartedly. He did not try at all to do anything like Robin Williams did. There was zero differentiation in anything he did, except for that he dressed up and dragged for like one he, second for that ladies thing. That's the only he, thing I was gonna say, that he, he did, did do that part. That was remotely different. The, the rest of it was all exactly the same. There was zero emotion. He just played it all very, very flat. There was zero, zero bit of him having fun and Robin Williams in there. I, I very strongly disagree with what you just said. <laughs> guy Ritchie, if it's shot like a Guy Ritchie movie, honestly, it's very fast, fast cuts. The action looks good. I mean, I, there's not a lot of action, but I think they did a good job with the visual effects. I think Jasmine casting was great. Uh, Aladdin, I think, was good. I think they were decent casting for uh, them. How about the Sultan was like six feet tall the and like sul- skinny yeah. as a rail? That was ridiculous. And the, Jafar the was like bad. a little short, like sort of round dude. Like it, it, it was very... Like those two, I think were very miscast. It was very strange for me to see the Sultan not be a little fat man. 
like who was all bubbly and who, who, like he was like, it was like he belongs on Homeland, that guy or something. It was very strange. He didn't, yeah. he, it was, it was super weird. And, and Jafar was super weird, not menacing at all. Like it was, I, it was terrible. That movie was terrible. And that girl from Saturday Night Live ruined it for me, who plays a boy Chuck or something on that TV show. I hate her. Yeah. Jafar Awful. was by far the worst just because you have a, an idea of what he should be like. And that's where it comes down to casting too. You know, they're like, okay, we're going to make it the Sultan. They went completely opposite, different kind of direction. I think they could have found somebody really good to play that part. That would have been fun. And they, they should just, have Jeremy Irons come back for that shit. Oh, that was a scar. Damn it. That was scar. I, yeah, I would still have a... taken, I would still would have taken Jeremy Irons. Honestly, he fits the physical awesome. characteristics of Jafar way more than that guy did. It was so weird. The How about the fact that we're really weird for those two. This is one of those weird things I was just, just because I said it before is I, I was surprised when I saw that Will Smith and Dave are the same exact age. They're both 54 years old, which is kind of wild. Like they don't seem like they're the same age, but apparently they are just because of how their ass they're built. I actually think that, you know, Dave doesn't look really that old, honestly, but the fact that he feels old is, you know, that's a problem too, because he, he's supposed to be the action star, you know? Who the fuck is And right Dave? now, Batista. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, you just, that was like a huge non sequitur, bro. Like, we're Dave, very close. What? We're, we're very close. Dave and I are very close. <laughs> You're muted, Jake. Isn't that Bautista? Yeah, yeah Bautista. This is a different. This is okay. Bautista, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Dave Bautista. But yeah, I was yeah. surprised that, you know, they're like the same age. And then Dave is like <laughs> talking about being old. And Will Smith's like, I'm going to stop. You know, you keep going forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lexi saying really all the like Disney me. live action remakes are awful. Yeah, they, they haven't been the best. You can't you can't really capture that. I mean, I think they're okay, but you can't. Really, the Lion King too. It's like not the same. It just isn't. Terrible. I think the best part of the Lion King remake was Timon and Pumbaa. They were fun. Billy Billy That's Eckner true. was great, and and he Seth had, uh, Rogen. John was Oliver was fun. good too as Zazu. Oh yeah, he was. He's great casting. Great casting. But you know, there's there's a lot happening with Disney, and you know the thing is, he's coming back. He's gonna be Aladdin. Unlike Dave, like I said before, Dave's like, but I want to call him Dave now. Batista, I'm like Batista. Yeah, who like said we're that, friends. You're like, oh, Monica's over there. I'm like, who, who the friends. fuck are you talking about? Give him a call. Give him a call. Yeah. 